Hi guys, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, to those of you mothers like me who have fur babies, happy Mother's Day to you too. Right, so guys, today is Mother's Day. Um, every Mother's Day, we always have a line by mommy and we share the cooking. So today I am making fried rice and potato salad and I might make stuffed shells with chicken breast, but we see how that goes. But for sure, fried rice <laughs> and potato salad. So let's go. Alright guys, so potato salad finish. What I put in my potato salad is potato, obviously. Um, peas and carrots. I put eggs. A little bit of sugar. I put honey mustard. Mayonnaise, of course. And I believe that's it. Oh. And I put pimentos, but not much. So guys, I'm going to make the fried rice and I just want to show you all the oil that we use. And well, of course, I use fried rice seasoning, Chinese seasoning, garlic sauce, oyster sauce, sesame oil. Alright guys, fried rice done. I'm just going to cover it and take it to mommy's. Ready to go and give her mommy her Mother's Day gift. <laughs> and when I don't stick in it, they give the one a hole so my girl could ruin it. <laughs> she not a show in place. Hey, baby, give me a pan now. You're keeping it for. Yeah, I need to keep your paper. You can't reuse your paper right now. I need to keep your paper. I need to keep your paper. Yeah, my shoe is flipping over. Thank you so much. I can do it all. Let's get my hand. It's like five different sizes. I just put it in. I just put flowers on it. I mean, like flowers. It's five different bowls. Mama, I water and she plant any hot so much. She said it's not too hot. And look, ma. Are you mama? Maya, come outside in the heat? What about my son? What happened? Why are you making so much a noise? Outside too hot? Daddy open it up for you. That's how she dressed up on what I say. You going out? You have a date? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're back in on. You went inside? Outside too hot. Shut up and cake today. So I wait to eat that cake. <laughs> I'm going to Tell Grandma Happy Mother's Day. Happy 
He had to warm up people call. He warm up people call cords. The camera could see how much liquid falling out of the bottle, you know. <laughs> Who is she talking to? What you do for mommy today? For Mother's Day? You see that, mommy? Next time, eat the child pancake, okay? Because he will. First thing he tell me when he come. You eat it instead? She was actually lucky because Maya was kind of still need a little more cooking. That's not a consideration. No, he says she lucky because his own needed a little more cooking. Well, like she own, come on, good. You want to make for she? I see you make a card too, I see she put up a card. You make that? Yeah. Up and chill what yeah. huh? You're feeling good? No. I guess it is cool, I
National anthem, you have to stand that attention. Oh, why is he next <laughs> Watch my mother and she favorite child. Question to ask you. Why she buys your favorite? I just want to say that we have it on camera that she buys she favorite. <laughs> Confession. Also, so we don't show you no love then. I never say that. Just show me more. Oh, I feel it's because he's listening to you. That, that might be it. No, Sasha does listen to. 
So Sasha, this is mm, I'm Sasha. So that we do real thing. The real thing is you don't do the Yeah, but yeah, but Sasha does listen and do I actually do listen to I say no. But but <laughs> <laughs> but she might she feel it. Sasha mobile, we hear that she ban and show it to her. I can see how Sasha very big. Yes, Sasha. All right, what she want to do? All right, what she want to do? I know she's going to get Sasha in that position. She needs to be in that position. She needs to be in that position. She needs to be in that position. I don't think more. I don't think more. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we have it on camera. We have it on camera. We don't tell us. We just we just wanted the truth. Yeah, we are not here. We don't what he did in the oven was. Kumana. 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 Look, she bought there too. She bought the ball in the gallery. Play with them now. The ball into the gallery. I didn't know that she bought it, nah.
So guys, <clears throat> you know when you're having fun, you just do think about recording anything. <laughs> so all Mother's Day was nice, um, as it always is. Sasha got to come and spend a little time with us, she bring the kids, you know, um, Radish and Shara come true. And all in all, it was a day to celebrate mothers. And people say that Mother's Day is supposed to be every day, right? Because children say it's every day. And while I agree with that, you know, you appreciate your mother every day. But there's a specific day to celebrate mothers, right? So that don't mean, you know, you treat your mother good every day of the year and uh, Mother's Day is a normal day. No, you still show them that, hey, mommy, today's Mother's Day and today's about you, right? My mother don't cook on Mother's Day. So my dad and myself and sometimes my sister, we all contribute something. I really wanted to make them stuffed shells, but another day for that, right? So I'm just here to say, I am thankful for my mother. I would definitely not be here without her. I would uh, not be um, as educated as I am because she used to be there behind me every step of the way. Waking out at um, 2 o'clock in the morning when I was going to school, me to study. And when I was doing tertiary education, you know, when I come home any night from school, she there, she will make a hot roti, she will eat until I come, you know. And all these things I will forever be grateful for. You know, so I don't know why the video going in and out. So and there's a lot more things, you know, there's a lot more things and um Children don't realize the sacrifices their parents um, go through for them, you know. I never understood it when I was a child, but now that I'm an adult, I know all the hardships my mother faced with my biological father, and who was abusive. And you know, um, he is deceased now, but he was not a good person to us. He was not a good father at all, at all. You know, so my stepdad, who I would say is my dad, right? We grew up with him, and he has been, I would say, a good replacement um, in the sense that he's a good person, he treats my mom good. You know, he's been with us for over 20-something years or maybe more. I can't remember. Yeah, maybe 30 years. I know again. Oh, well. <laughs> so, you know, he's a really good person. And uh, mommy made a good choice. You know, and I just want my mother to be happy for the rest of her life. You may see us. Um, and you may think that, you know, we bickering about my brother's favorite and all of that. But... My brother is the favorite for me and my sister too. You know, we wait so long to get a brother and I was 19 years when he was born. So, obviously that's our last child she must have, you know, he's the only one remain home with her. And he's a good child, you know. Anyway, I am straying from the point. You see, there are some parents who you know, they're not really there for the kids. Um, or they don't know how to show they love the kids. So, my advice to some of your parents, you know, moms who, you, you didn't grow up with that kind of love. And you need to show your kids love, especially in this day and age. You know, you need to tell your children you love them every day. So that they feel love, you know, they know, you know, you tell them you're proud of them. Because that's something that I never, I I never wanted. Because my mother used to tell me it all the time. She love us. You know, she proud of me. And he's so proud of you. She probably will call everybody in the family and say, you know, Anita did this. Or, you know, um, 
all my medical conditions she's been there with me through it all and it hasn't been an easy road for her and mommy i just want to say that you know i love you we all love you and you are an exceptional person you know you treat um my husband really good better than me sometimes anything he wants to eat you'll make it not complaining i'm not complaining <laughs> right so i really appreciate everything that you've done for us and to those on the outside um looking in and you all know who you are regardless the my mother is retired she had a really difficult time taking care of my grandmother when she was sick and only those of us who are in the house or used to come and visit know how challenging it was because you know when you get down in age some people misbehave you know and with ma who you see in in our videos she is actually one in a million that could live by herself although she should not be right but she it, she's surviving she don't depend on nobody that kind of thing my grandmother wasn't like that she had a lot of ailments she was angry you know she didn't want to be um out of my mom's eyesight so only myself my sister my my stepdad my brother we know kind of hell my mother went through taking care of my grandmother and my grandmother was generally a nice person but when people get sick and they get old and they start to forget stuff and you know it's a whole challenge and my mother went through enough for that and now is the time for my mother to enjoy herself so if you see me post a million videos and every day my mother going somewhere with us that's none of your business. Be happy for her. Because if you know all the things that she went through in her entire life, right? You, you would feel like, you know, I I feel like we can't give her enough to say thanks. Right? The things that she want. She wants to go to India. All those things, you know. Maybe one day we could do it for her. But for now, the little things that we could do, we do. You know? And that's not for anybody to judge and say, she going all over the place because what else should she do all her children are grown my brother is 18 um she don't have my grandmom to take care of anymore and she been trained off in life right she deserves a long vacation right so mommy thanks for all that you do and you continue to do whether it be you know we come across and you say come on we'll make a roti and it don't matter, you know. Yeah, yeah, you do something for the doggies, my, my nephews, you know. Everybody is really grateful for you. And on Mother's Day, we celebrate you, right? We love you 365 days, that <laughs> you know. And everybody should have a mommy like that. We do not always agree. Because who does, right? Who, who does that? <laughs> By the end of the day, I would not change my mother for the world. Because, you know, you hear so much people saying, they talk about their experiences and they talk about their parents. Or some people, like, I wouldn't, I am not going to lie. Um, people who talk about their relationship with their dad. I wish I had that kind of relationship with my biological father growing up. But I didn't. So my mother was my mother and my father, you know. My stepdad was always there, but my mother wanted to be the one to bring us up, to discipline us, all of that, you know. So my stepdad was there for like decisions, so like, you know, I want to buy a car or I want to learn to drive or that kind of any, anything along those lines, you know, you have advice and all of that. But my mother is real deal, you know, and you can't treat your children a type of way or abandon your kids and expect them to love you because children wouldn't understand you know so those are you moms out there who are doing a real good job uh, my mother-in-law Donna um, 
kudos to you you raised four kids you know it wasn't an easy task and boy children are a little more harder than your children i find you know and we all love you my mother in treat me real good you know my sister is a really good mom i don't know how she have all this patience but some people were meant to be mothers and some people weren't you know and i was meant to be an auntie and a dog mom right i have a lot of friends who are good parents and asha um i want to pick up um alice food and more gil you know he's a real good job he's a super mom my best friend in canada nisha gil i know when i was here but he's a real good mommy and I know you have a whole, you plan on a whole football team with your four kids, <laughs> but you know, you, you, you do so well, right? And uh, those that I forget, I'm sorry, but all you do is a real good job, right? And keep it up. And some people are single moms and they feel like, you know, they, they're not doing enough. And trust me, you need to tell yourself you're doing good. Those of you who try and real hard, um, see my girl is doing a real good job, and you see it in your kids, you know. But word of advice: don't abandon your kids, and and you could be you could be taking care of your kids and still abandon them mentally, right? Social media is something that is growing and is becoming entwined in our lives, and you need to put your kids first. You know, when your kids come from school, you speak to them, how their day was, you know, you help them with their homework. And nobody say that you want a alone time for yourself. But until your child reach 18, at least, you need to dedicate that time for them. Because we always, any, anywhere you see my parents and I'm going, you would see us. Right? Growing up. Anyway. Right? They went to the beach, the river, wherever. And we just grew up with that closeness. So anywhere we go in, it's be some family member with us. And you see my brother, he is UUG. Anywhere we go in, yeah, he did. So in closing, I want to say we had a really good mother's day. And I want to thank God for a really good mother again. Right? And we will try to let us all... You know try to appreciate our parents a little more because all they want in their life is to see the kids happy and successful regardless of what that may be for you you know that's all parents really want for the kids to be happy and i had a conversation with my aunt and uncle recently and i was telling them that you know i realized recently that people would say they want the best for their kids or you know they're proud of their kids but they haven't told their kids that so the kids don't know you know i had a conversation with somebody and i was like well you know your mom you're proud of you and it was like she never told me that but she told me so tell your kids you're proud of them when you're proud of them because they wouldn't know unless you say something right it, it's better to hear it from you because i tell them yeah when your parents say, you know, they're proud of you, like, when I, I tell my brother I'm proud of him, he's 18 years, he running his own little business, my mother's super proud of him, you know, and I will always be proud as a big sister, and he knows that, you know, so, I, there are a couple people in my family I'm really proud of, especially my husband, and let me just appreciate our parents a little more, especially the ones that do a whole lot for us and for us to have a good relationship parents you know you need to push that relationship with your kids and kids you need to have a little more patience with your parents all right so i hope everybody had a good mother's day and thank you all for watching this video